What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Free Run Beyond Journeys and episode 10 could be the last episode of the season. I'm not even sure. Let's see what happens in it. If you like my content, hit the like button. Consider even maybe subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date when I drop. Anyways, let's jump straight into it. Let's go. Let's go. So, I mean, it was a crazy episode. It's been a crazy couple of last episodes leading up to this point. I do have a feeling this could be the last episode of the season i have caught up now oh flammer oh this is when freedom was young so I, I, that's what i'm saying i really do feel like we've come to the end of season one and it would make sense the kind uses words only to deceive humans i wonder what actually happened between the two of them it allows me to exterminate demon kind oh so it's like dishonorable whatever they're planning on whatever they're planning on doing a powerful mage oh right man lugna he's done fern is did such a good job but free run won't escape unscathed that's the fight i want to see you remember aura was like come i want to see these things the flashy techniques you used to use wow so obviously you remember it was the scale of something i forgot she'll trick aura and kill her This girl's mana is weak. What's going on here? What you've done isn't fair. So it's a way to what? To use mana without ex... Oh, did she finish him off? It's to use magic without using a lot of mana. It's obviously something that Freerun has taught Fern now. Oh my goodness. Oh, so this is where she found Freerun. Oh, remember there was that scene the last time she saw an elf? Basalt the Throne, a general of the Demon King's army. She was like, the last time she saw an elf was like 500 years ago or something. And remember there was that swing with the fire? Oh, she killed him. That's a lot of mana. Oh my goodness. Oh, so Flamma taught her the surprise. The surprise tactic, technique. You're a far more powerful mage. But she's able to, so what, suppress? Is that what's going on? There, the swing. So even when she was younger, she was still the strongest. We're being pursued. Oh my goodness. Wow, what's going on here? Who's this? By concealing their mana. Oh, that's just like uh, Linny, remember? Leave the elf girl and go. Oh my goodness. So the demon king was threatened by the elves. Wow. Oh my gosh, are we going to see Flamma? Go at it. Whoa. Was that one technique? Oh my gosh. Flamma, the legendary mage. <laughs> wow. Because I thought she was weak. Just like, boom. Oh my gosh. It's a cowardly, unfair way to fight. Wow, it makes a mockery of magic. Crazy. So this is obviously what Fern did. And that's why Lugna was like, she's weak. But she's not really. 
<laughs> you mean master. One tenth of its normal volume. So it's like the Saiyans, right? Or not even the Saiyans, like um, the Z fighters, where they like they uh, lower their power level, basically. For life. Wait, are you telling me? Okay. <laughs> wow. Are you telling me Freerun is gonna release all her mana and completely tip the scales? The scales of obedience, that's what it's called. Okay, so the longer you spend training. Whoa. Bro, I guarantee you lived over 500 years. Freerun's mana is going to be the whole the whole screen that you can see. Just watch. I doubt she's been challenged before. Nor can they. But didn't Lenny do that? That's what Lugna said. He said that all demons are able to suppress their mana. Interesting. Maybe because they're arrogant or they can't individualists so wasn't that who the demon king was <laughs> they dressed themselves up to make it more obvious Oh, so it's like you, you show off your mana. Oh, so they can do it. So that that kind of answers the Lenny question because she did use it to sneak up on Fern. So it's, yeah, like I was saying, it's an arrogance thing. So technically, they could be the strongest out of everyone if they weren't, they didn't have so much ego. But I wonder why he ordered them to kill the elves. Probably because they're the only ones who can match them. Three years. The full meditation. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how old she is. Man, time is undefeated. That was only 50 years ago. Wow, and she did eventually. But we never got to see that. I mean, I keep talking like this is the last episode of the season. I don't know why. It just feels like it. You must never seek to leave your name in history. And now there's like statues of her because she did that. What a what a great show. Just it's so rich. Like it's really, really rich in everything. It's like everything is done precisely. Everything has like its importance. And like every moment is just like fully heartfelt. What? This world that they live in is incredible. Wait. Did she build that whole fort? <laughs> Who is the irritating guy? Oh, scale of obedience. Did you see how they flashed through their whole journey? Of course she's not going to win. Arrogance. It's probably going to break. Fear inside is probably going to be so heavy that it breaks the scale. She's in for a rude awakening. Are you sure, Aura? Imagine all the soldiers just bow down to Freerun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
しや金でに負けたのか、お前が自分の魔力の自信を持っていてよかった。わーお。お前を殺せ。私は魔力を制限していた。ははははは、Let's go, Friedrin。Of course it would, because you're too arrogant. But it lets me beat your kind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. That was crazy good. She is so damn strong. First of all, I did call it, right? I did call it back then when he was like, it's a tenth of my age, or Freerun said that it's a tenth of my age, or something like that. Back in like maybe episode three or episode four. And then I'm like, oh, I kind of worked it out. It was a little bit rough, but I did work it out. And it was, it came around to be, I said she's a thousand years old. Yeah, just amazing. And there's so much that we don't know, though. I mean, look, from the end of that, it might not be the last. Episode, which would make sense. I'm hoping it's not the last episode of the season because there's so much that's happening. We don't know how the fight with the Demon King went. They still have to travel to Ender. There's still the other、um, seven sages, right? Aura was just one of them, you know. And then even Quail, they called him the Elder of something. I can't really remember that well, but it's it's not just the seven sages. There's many of them, and just how strong they are. And even meeting Lugna. How different he was, and you can see how cunning they are. So it's it's very interesting to see what happens, and just you know what happens with Finn and what happens with Stark as well. So it's very interesting to see. I mean, up till this point, it's been excellent, a really good episode. I obviously we knew that Freerun was on the next level. I mean, look, like Aura was half her age, <laughs> so she has so much more to her, and even that whole fort that she built and some of that creature she was lying. On just the time she's been around is crazy, but I'm really am to see what happens, what they continue to do with the show. You know, just when they gonna actually end up meeting Hater and Himmel and everyone at Aurora, right? Because that's the whole point of this. So I'm really am to see what happens. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. If you like the episode, hit the like button. Maybe even consider subscribing with the notification bell. Obviously, I'm gonna leave the last episode right over here, but that's gonna be. It for me. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.